Starting with scale 75 Arctic Blue, we're going to just stipple. Dry brush it on as you would normally a dry brush and I'd use a lot of stippling motions with it. It's to build up um, different patterns and variation to the base colours that are going to be going on soon with an airbrush. With this technique, feel free to apply quite a thick layer in certain areas. The more variation that you can get, the better it is for the end result. And just make sure to dry brush and catch all the edges. It doesn't matter if you have areas that are kind of patchy and splotchy. Again, it, it's just going to help for the final result once we get the base colours and everything on. Now we're doing a 30% scale 75 sunset purple to about 70% Drakenhof nightshade. From below, I'm spraying this mix of Drakenhof nightshade and sunset purple to create shadows in the barrels. That's one layer done. Usually I tend to do two to three layers. I just dry with a hairdryer in between. I find it tends to make quite good shadows, especially for kind of standard silver metallics. and flip it around from above we're going to hit Reichland Flesh Shade we're just creating a, a zenithal of a couple of different colours over this to create some interest in the final product once again with the Reichland Flesh Shade we're going to do two or three coats. I use a hairdryer in between layers. It gets it done nice and quickly. You can use a brush to do this and you can use a hairdryer to dry the layers.
now we're doing a quite fine dry brushing of Vallejo metal colour. It's just a standard steel. Make sure just to hit the aquila and the skulls, taps, rivets, all of those kind of areas. We want to make sure we're hitting with the silver just to really highlight them. At this point, if you wanted to use a second brighter metal to hit just the fine edge highlights to create a bit more definition, you can do. I just don't think it's super necessary. Now we're just going to do a quick gloss varnish, two or three thin coats. I'm using Vallejo's gloss varnish, really doesn't matter which varnish you use. Now I've just made up a quick black oil wash you can do black you can do dark brown it, it really doesn't matter in a sense it's just to help shade recesses and just to darken it down slightly I'm just coming in with my q-tip with a little bit of mineral spirits dipped on it I would advise people to actually use some foam or the little kind of makeup foam pads that you can get it won't leave little hairs remember not to take it all off we're just hitting some of the raised areas Next stage is just to come in and fill out the Aquila and any bits that you would want on it to be gold. At the moment I'm using Retributor Armour, but use whatever gold it is that you've got that you like. I think it ended up being two coats of each. I would like to apologise at this point for my camera wobbling. In the first five videos that I have coming out, a few of them are at my old setup. I fixed this now. My Chaos Spawn video, you'll see a very big difference with the fact that the camera does not move at all. So please bear with me for the first few videos that there's going to be the odd areas where there'll be a little bit of camera movement, but it's not, it's not very much. And we're just coming back in and doing a second coat, just to pick out any areas that didn't quite get full cover. And back again with the Vallejo still. Just a light dry brush over all of the areas. We just want to highlight those areas that we've dulled down with the oil wash.
Make sure to buff the skull, rivets and edges quite nicely. Using an old brush, just slather dirty downs, rust effects all over this. With it being water based, we can come back in with a wet brush, feather it out. We can, we can make a lot of variants and change things as and when we need it, so it really doesn't matter where you're getting this. What I tend to do is about two layers to try and get a bit of variation with it being really dark and quite light. Then grab a mildly damp sponge and just tap at it. This creates a lot of variation and some natural kind of patinas and patterning. kind of catch the edges you'll you'll see a little bit of the steel that we've just dry brushed on kind of showing through which you would naturally anyway on something that's rusted in the real world that's been worn slightly As you can see on the top here, don't be afraid of just taking off a load. We can always add more on. With Dirty Down to Verdigris, I'm just coming in and picking out some of the main key areas like the tap, the Aquila. I didn't do it, but you can do rivets. It's really up to you what you'd actually like to do. Coming in and tapping it off with a moist wet sponge just to create a bit of variation. The next stage is to come in with scale 75's Mars Orange with a sponge 
just dab here and there just to create a bit of variation. And we finish with a matte varnish. I applied the matte varnish slightly thick, hair dried it very quickly, and there's little cracks that formed. And I did that on purpose because it just creates texture. But normally speaking, you wouldn't want to do that. 